critical velocity training progressions. Coaches ask me all the time, how do you go about progressing the workouts? Let's focus on the left side over here. Method number one is to decrease the rest between the repetitions. As an example, in week one, the individuals run repeat one kilometers at critical velocity pace and they use a 90 second jog for recovery between each repetition. Week two, the progression is reducing the recover by, recovery by 15 seconds and now they jog 75 seconds instead of 90. Week three, drop another 15 seconds and now they're jogging just 60 seconds between repetitions. That's an overload progression that we talk about all the time in exercise physiology. You have to apply overload systematically and gradually so that the athletes improve their performance. But you don't want to go crazy and drop, make it too hard. At the end of three weeks, then you probably go back to assigning a new uh, pace for that individual, maybe two or three seconds faster, and then starting with 90 seconds of jog recovery and going through the cycle again. However, you could, as a coach, move over to method number two, which is to increase the length or duration of the repetitions. Here's a typical progression for, from the beginning of the season and the first three weeks of cross country. You might assign 12 repeat 400 meter reps, that's critical velocity pace. Week number two, you ex double the length of it to 800 meter reps. You keep the volume the same at total 4,800 meters, which is roughly three miles. Week number three, you increase the length of the repetition slightly and run and assign five times 1,000 meters. Total volume, 5,000 meters, only slightly more than what was run the, uh, during week number one and week number two, but it is a little bit harder because the repetition lengths are longer. It's a systematic progression. After three weeks are over, you might return to week number one's format, which is 400 meter repetitions, but you might assign a faster pace now. Another method of increasing the overload is, is number three, where you see a progression in paces. The same volume, six times one kilometer, is used for each of the three weeks. Recovery is retained at 75 seconds for each of the three weeks. The only thing that improves is the speed or pace. It drops from 3 minutes 20 seconds to 3 minutes 18 seconds to 3 minutes 16 seconds. That is something that I would typically assign during the middle of the season when I know the athlete is stable.